You're watching the KTTC News Center with Jess Abrahamson and meteorologist Ted Schmidt. This is KTTC News Center at noon. One week from today, we are taking the new news on the road. We will be live at the Festival of Trees, and Teresa Thompson from Hiawatha Homes will be there with us as we're kicking off yet another big event. Tell us how many trees this year are going to be there. 106 trees. Wow. Well, you brought with you one of the most popular. This is the Rochester Wood Carvers tree. This is uh, the premier tree people really look forward to, one of them. And uh, we actually have some video showing you the intricacies of this tree. They've been working on this for a year. Yeah, I think we met with them first in January of this year to start the planning. Unbelievable. Well, this is actually given away at the end of the Festival of Trees, but you can tell all of the love and hard work that has gone into it. And each tree is different. Oh, it's amazing. The different creative ideas, they're phenomenal every year. Okay. How many volunteers are we talking to pull this, this event off? About 900 volunteers. Wow. That's unbelievable. Well, tell us why people look forward to the Festival of Trees so much. Well, I really think that it's a kickoff to their holiday. They come and enjoy the spirit. It's just one of those things, the doors open, it's magical, and they enjoy every minute from entertainment to sweet shop to shopping and just enjoying the atmosphere. Oh, I know Ted and I are so excited to be out there next week. And we should let people know it kicks off Wednesday and it is open on Thanksgiving. Yes, it sure is, so bring the family out. And open through Sunday then? Yes, Sunday until 4. With different great events each day going on, and this is an important fundraiser for Hiawatha Homes of Rochester. Therese, thank you so much for coming in to tell us all about the Festival of Trees, which opens to the public one week from today at the Mayo Civic Center. All the details at kttc.com links.